Hi, this is Dr. Pan, host of Tucson Math Doc channel on YouTube. Here today we have a very interesting uh, integration here. Um, integration by parts doesn't quite work for this one because you can't really factor this one. However, you can complete square on the bottom that would somewhat resemble the um, tangent, arc tangent, because arc tangent has the form of 1 plus theta form. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this one into this form and, and use arc tangent, a formula for our integration. So let's get onto it. Let's complete square on this first. x fourth plus x squared plus 1. What I'm going to do is a fourth plus x squared, and then I'm going to take half of the coefficient here, square it, then i got to subtract it and add 1. Okay, so all I did is I'm going to regroup those two, or those three actually. I have x squared plus half squared. Okay, and over here I have a 3 fourth. So here I completed square for me. And from here I'll do a substitution let u is equal to x squared plus half. That way du is 2x dx. Okay, that solves that du over 2 is equal to x dx. Okay, I'm going to use this one and I'm going to use the substitution and go back clean up the stuff. At first it might look actually messy now. Okay, so let's take a look. x dx, let's circle that part, that's equal to a half of du, I'll put a du back in there, okay, and then on the bottom I have 1 over uh, u, let's see, let me make sure, u squared, okay, Plus, I'm going to squeeze this one into a square form as well, okay, because I can use the formula for that arc tangent. Now, um, let me write the arc tangent formula here down here so we can uh, refer later. Okay. Formula. What we have is um, we have a property says if we have a dx a squared plus x squared, which is in our form here, that equal to 1 over a tangent, arc tangent of x over a plus constant. So what we're going to do is a plus x, so this is my x, this is a, and I'm going to just pretty much um, write it out what we can do here. So again here a is equal to my radical 3 over 2 Okay, so I'm just going to plug it in there, and then this completed form should be half um, 1 over a, 1 over radical 3 over 2, that's this chunk, and then tangent, arc tangent of x, which happened to be my u, over a, which is radical 3 over 2, because this whole thing plus a constant. Now let's clean up a little bit. 1 and a half. I have a radical, I have a 2 on top and a radical 3 on the bottom. Okay, so basically I flipped it. And then tangent inverse of, let's put it this one, it's 2 radical 3 times u. What is u? u was my old variable of x squared plus half. Uh, let's make sure u is, that's right, x squared plus half. Get this whole thing closed, plus c. Do one more step and then we're done. So this is one over radical three. Okay, one, one over radical three. I'm going to rationalize it at the top and bottom, and that's radical three over three. Okay, tangent inverse. Let's rationalize this one as well. Times x squared plus half. Okay, plus c. So here is your complete answer. Radical 3 over 3, tangent to inverse, 2 radical 3 over 3, I rationalized times the original variable, which is really my u, and plus a constant. Right? Hope this helps. Have a confident day.